Hi, Steve Carlson on Easy Debate. Why are health care costs rising? We've neglected programs like MABC, enacted by the U.S. Senate in 2000, quickly adopted by Minnesota, saved the life of my wife, Vicki. It's based on cancer screening for low-income women. If you have cancer, you get treated. It reduces health care costs. Screening's economical and efficient. Cancer gets so expensive to treat, many if not most Americans go bankrupt. It's one of the pre-existing conditions insurance companies turn to the taxpayers for. Minnesota MABC greatly reduces costs while saving lives by early detection before the cancer spreads, by identifying the most successful standard treatments and getting those to the patient as quickly as possible, monitored and directed by trained oncologists. Unfortunately, this program is unique. Minnesota has not lived up to its obligations. The U.S. Senate chose Medicaid to provide for treatment. So a woman 65 when found to have breast cancer won't be treated. I'd extend the age to 69, the top range when most breast cancer occurs, 62 to 69. I put these women in the categorical Medicaid program, but many bureaucrats like Tina Smith, Emily Piper, and Lori Swanson don't like this. They'd rather expand Medicaid programs providing family doctors than target killer diseases. But the program has shown cancer deaths can be reduced, reducing costs. Unbelievably, we have government bureaucrats untrained in cancer going into the medical files, canceling these women's insurance while treatment is still needed, not even considering the impact of their actions on treatment. This is a true death panel. Senator Amy Klobuchar is making them do this. Amy needs to speak up. I worked in health disparities at the American Cancer Society and I'm very motivated to fix this.